Now here's something relevant to my study of the differences between a double resonance solid state circuit and a sp rotary spark gap circuit um, that power up my 100 kilohertz Tesla coil. Um, the main thing I've done here was I am taking Mr. Tesla away. He's seven inches from the bottom to the tip, the, tip of the needle and just putting on a short little two inch needle on top of the coil in the middle and so that gives me an extra five inches for thirty inches total all the way up here to the ceiling tiles so let me show you what happens so first I found that the double resonant solid state circuit gives an absolute spectacular clean arc going all the way up to the ceiling. And now I'm going to operate the rotary spark gap driver and we'll see um, a whole bunch of smaller arcs coming out from all over the top load. sure why the top load discharge was so different for the two drivers but I am sure it's got something to do with the with the way that the primary tank circuit is energized you know with the uh, double resonant driver it's very slow and steady increase of the 100 kilohertz wave uh, before it reaches a maximum and then drops off exponentially but with the uh, rotary spark gap circuit over there it's uh, just an instantaneous pulse and then it drops off exponentially um, so how that how the, how that difference actually interacts with the ionization of the air um, I really don't know but maybe I can try to find out some more about that if there's anyone out there who can um, help me out with this and try to figure out what's going on with the air ionization and why it acts like that. Um, I'd much appreciate it. See you later.